What's going on everybody and welcome back to Johnny K Picks and in this video I'm going to break down all of my bets that I placed for UFC 270 Naganyu vs. Gan. So I didn't start out 2022 the way I wanted to but I feel pretty confident about the bets that I made so far and also be sure to follow me on Twitter at Johnny K Picks because I usually place about two or three live bets throughout the fight night so if you're interested in those go ahead and follow me. Alright so let's get to the good stuff and let's go break down my bets. So the first bet I have is an underdog bet. I bet one unit on Jasuda Vicious to win, and I got that at plus 210. So right off the bat, this is a low-level women's MMA fight, so anything can happen. But if you look at the stats, Jasmine has a 5-inch reach advantage, and she has a 5-inch height advantage. So I really feel like that's going to play a big part in this fight. Also, not to mention, Kay Hansen's last fight was a little over a year ago, and she was in the strawweight division when she fought. So she's actually moving up a division, fighting a way bigger fighter. And I just don't know if she's going to be able to handle her and try to take her down to the mat. Because that's the only way Hanson's going to win in my eyes, if, if she can get down Jasmine. But I, I do think Jasmine's going to be able to stay at range and she's going to be able to stuff those takedowns. So yeah, give me Jasmine for an underdog. And at plus 210, why not? Next bet I have is another underdog bet. I bet one unit on Figueredo to win, and I got that at plus 155. So I know a lot of people are going to be picking Moreno in this fight, and I don't blame him one bit. I totally get it, but I think some people are sleeping on Figueredo. So before the Moreno fights, Figueredo looked amazing, and he was almost invincible in those fights. So I feel like some people are kind of forgetting how good he actually is. Plus, I do think he's the more dangerous fighter, whether it's on the feet or on the mat. But I just think Figueredo's going to come into this fight. I do think he's going to be more focused. He's going to be more prepared this time. And I know I mentioned in my last video, the last two times Figueredo fought Moreno, he had to go to the hospital once right before the fight. And the second time, he said he wasn't feeling like himself. And I don't know what was up. Maybe it was a weight cut issue. But I do think third time's a charm. Jump on that plus money right now and take a stab. All right, so the third bet I have is a two-fighter parlay. I bet Demopolis and Della Maddalena to win, and I got that at plus 125. So last week, I had Demopolis in a two-fighter parlay with Chikagian, but that fight got canceled or pushed back to this week. So I wanted to use her in a parlay again. And again, just a little warning, this is a low-level women's MMA fight, so anything can happen. But I do think Demopolis is the better fighter in this matchup. I would say it's pretty even on the feet. If you want to give a slight edge to Juarez, that's fine by me. But if the fight's going to get to the mat, you got to give Demopolis the huge advantage. And I do think some point in this fight, it's going to get to the mat, and Demopolis is going to wrap up a submission. And with Della Maddalena, I just think he's the more technical fighter. Both fighters are making their UFC debuts, but Madalena has more experience and he has 12 fights under his belt compared to four with Rodriguez. And both fighters are knockout artists, so I can see this fight not lasting very long and I'm gonna say Della Madalena wins by knockout in the first round. Okay, so the next bet I have is another two fighter parlay. I bet Nurmagomedov and Gravely to win and I got that at plus 112. So right off the bat, I do think these two fighters are the locks of the night for me, and I had to parlay them together, but I do think both these guys will win. So with Nurmagomedov, I, I just think he's going to be too much on the feet for Stamen. We all know that Stamen's a wrestler, and he wants to come in and wrestle you. He wants to get you to the mat and stay on top, but I think with Nurmagomedov's reach advantage, and he does have pretty good takedown defense, I do think he's going to be able to keep the fight standing, and that's only going to play in the hands of his. But if this fight does get to the mat, Nurmagomedov is pretty good on the mat too. He knows how to wrestle, but he's actually more of a striker. And with Gravely, yeah, like I said, no-brainer bet of the night for me. He has the advantage on the feet. He has the power advantage as well. He's a very good wrestler, but the only thing that may worry me a bit is if he does get the takedown 
Oliveira is a pretty good submission artist, so he can wrap up a submission. But I can see this fight staying on the feet, and I think Gravely is going to try to just knock him out. So again, I like Gravely a lot in this matchup. All right, guys, last bet of the night is another two-fighter parlay. I bet Tapuria and Gan to win, and I got that at plus 100. So as some of you may know, I'm pretty high on Taporia. I do think in the future, sooner rather than later, that he is going to be a contender for the featherweight belt. And although Jordan's a very tough dude, I just think Taporia is on another level than him. I'm thinking this fight will stay standing until Taporia gets a well-timed takedown. And once he takes down Jordan, I think he's going to be in trouble. And I can see Taporia wrapping up a submission real quick after that. And with Gon, I know it's going to be a really good fight, but I do think he's going to get the job done, whether it's by a finish or decision. All he really needs to do is just be super careful in the first round, maybe half of the second round because that's where the power is going to be for Naganyu. Once Naganyu gets past the one and a half round mark, his power is going to start fading a bit. But as we all know, it only takes one punch. So Naganyu has a really good shot of winning, but I have to pick Gan. He's the better overall fighter. And I do think he's going to be able to drag this fight into the later rounds and win, whether it's by a finish or decision. All right, so there you have it. Those are my bets for UFC 270. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And feel free to comment below on some of your favorite bets that you're making this weekend. I hope everybody enjoys the fight this weekend. And happy fight night.